When the threats come to Mystic Falls, then they have to come out in force and, yeah. and defeat, which will be the new, the new villain in Mystic Falls. Why are fans going to love this show, this first season? What do you think they're looking going to love the most? Well, you're going to, I think, some of the best moments of Vampire Diaries were the, in the first season, and there was a quality of angsty relationship with the, the kids that I found super compelling. And what's great about this is you find that again. There's this new, youthful energies, the legacies. It's like it's 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 the next generation, and so you're going to find them in their own relationships of yearning and existential cravings, and and their their superpowers all like in this school that Alaric has to manage, and then. Um, Everyone has their unique abilities. Um, everyone, their crushes, you know, you can see them beginning to set relationships up. But then, from the outside, there's going to be um, a threat that the school has to uh, step up out of their shadow to fight. And so right now, the school is very top secret, it's very low key. People in Mystic Falls just assume it's a private school for rich kids who have like addiction problems or whatever so they play this angle they come out the town on occasion um, but when the threats come to Mystic Falls then they have to come out in force and, yeah. and defeat which will be the new the new villain in Mystic Falls so you'll see them compelled into action right. quite often which I think was, is gonna be nice and new and you don't have to know everything about Vampire Diaries you don't have to know everything about originals which you can is just, great yeah you can just step right in and be engaged immediately and I know I know that they will I am and, I, and, and, and it's like you can you can BS that sometimes you're like oh yeah yeah but I genuinely because you know you, you feel you feel you want to deliver you know you want to deliver you don't want to just step up and do something that the fans don't like you know you really want to do the work and you want to you want to tell a good story and you want to you want to honor the fans that have been so loyal and so passionate to these characters, and so you want to step up and do a good show. And I, I really think we are. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I'm well, excited. They're super excited to see you again. You know, it's like fans do love that. There's a reason. Yeah. You know, yeah. there's a reason why we stay invested in shows, and it's yeah. because of the characters, it's because of the actors portraying those characters. But yeah. this is this is different now, right? You're kind of like. Yeah, you're looking over everything, but also you're probably going to have to pick up a lot of pieces. And these are kids, you know. Yeah, they kids yeah. mess up a lot, you know. Yeah. I kn I know that firsthand. Yeah, I know yeah, that firsthand. Yeah, yeah. So, is there? I guess is there anything you're really excited about in terms of your character? Well, what I what I love about the show is you see his daughters are teenage girls right. now, and so they have their personalities. It's really the first time ever that the audience will be introduced to the twins' personalities. And so you've got these, they're twins, one's blonde, one's brunette, you know, each has their own unique dynamic. Right. And, and then there's hope, and there's, the, there's a rivalry between the girls and, and a vying for Alaric's attention um, that you uh, are all fresh and new. And so I like, I like Alaric navigating these different types of relationships right. and how how do you find balance and do parents really have a favorite child you know or do you love everyone equally yeah you know how do you how do you really angle that you know what does that really mean and so you'll see Alaric loving everyone that has favorites mm -hmm. I know. straight up know my little brother is my mom's favorite it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty obvious yeah. there is a want and a, and a need for relationships Millennials love relationships. We love watching them unfold. <laughs> right, we love right, falling right. in love as our favorite characters are falling in love. Yes. But you're a father in this. That's going to create very different dynamics in a way because you're this father figure to like every, every all the kids. Right. So I guess, I guess, what would you say? How? Let's make this a little different. Give some advice to teenagers embarking on their first real relationships. Oh, that's tough. It is tough, right? That's tough because I've been there and, you know, I didn't... Sometimes it just sucks. Yeah, you know? yeah, I was going to say, I, just, I, would, I would give you a... I would, my recommendation would be to not get engaged in it, to avoid it as much as you <laughs> possibly can avoid it, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that you need to focus more on a goal, a personal goal. And like really take this moment in building your life seriously, and that there are a lot of relationships that you can convince yourself are about growth, but it's really just a repetitive thing that you gotta, you know, it can really distract you and really take away time. So I get love and I get you know relationships. You know, I would say 
don't have sex if you're young, you know, like abstain as long as you can, you know, just like preserve your integrity and, and, uh, and, and focus on your goals. And if you really are in love with somebody, then, then take your time, go slowly, be respectful, know what you want, you know, have, have the, the endorsement of your parents, hopefully, I don't yeah. know. Something like that. No, I love it. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Congrats on the show. Thank, Thank you. you. No, I appreciate it. Before you go, click to the right to check out even more of what's happening here at Comic-Con. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to all of our channels.